What's going on guys, this is Aaron Player here and today I'm bringing you another episode of my best class series and uh, this episode we're going to be covering the ninja and kind of silent assassin aspect and uh, I think this is the very very best class you can get for being an assassin and taking out people without being seen. So uh, we're going to go with the SMMC because I think this is the best SMG. I'm going to put a silencer and extended clip on this because it has a very very fast rate of fire and you need extended mags because you don't want to be reloading all the time and uh, we need suppress it obviously because it's going to be stealthy and silent and um, we're gonna, not going to use a secondary on this because I don't think you really need one and um, your main primary is going to be very very strong in this class and uh, I think their MSMC is going to be all you really need so um, we're going to go into the perks which is most important in this class which is most important in most classes because um, the perks are what really drive this class and now that we have the pick 10 system you can run more than one and uh, you can choose not to have something like uh, secondaries which really, really help. So uh, I'm going to go with their uh, Ghost for this because obviously it's about stealthy and you don't want to be seen by these UAVs. And the good thing about Ghost is that as long as you keep running and as long as you keep doing these things and moving, then you're not going to be seen on the radar. If you do if you decide to camp, if you want to sit in a corner, then you're going to be spotted. That's how Black Ops 2 works. That's how they've changed Ghost if you don't know. And uh, yeah, so you've got to keep moving. You've got to keep rushing if you want to be off the radar. And uh, we're going to use the perk Lightweight obviously because you need to be running fast and you need to to be getting these paces quickly and um, cold bladders so you don't get seen by all these millimeter scammer scanners and these uh, motion sensor grenades and uh, all these crazy things that let you be seen and um, also it helps against uh, enemy kill streaks that people controlled so it really just helps you be a better ninja and not be seen and uh, addition to this we're going to go with dead silence obviously because it means you're not going to be uh, sound hauled by people and people are not going to be hearing you because um, there are a lot of perks and a lot of headsets actually that uh, let people pick other people up really really fast and uh, you'll hear their footsteps dead silence reduces that and um, it means that you're less likely to be heard running around and you're going to be doing a lot of running on this because you have lightweight and it's really really fast and you've got an SMG so you're going to be the best ninja pretty much running around the map just killing people and uh, I'm also going to go with the claymore on this which is quite which is kind of different because um, the claymore is actually really effective if you kill someone if you go rushing around into their base which is probably the best strategy to do you should be um, flanking behind them and basically they won't know where you are because you can't be seen on these radars you can't be seen on all sorts of things and um, there's no way of them detecting you so if you come up behind them start taking a few of them out they're going to be kind of curious they're going to be kind of thinking where did like my teammate go how do they all die and then if you put claymores around the dead bodies, then you're going to be picking up kills because it's, it just adds to the whole kind of uh, silent ninja aspect. And um, concussions really help too because you can stun them and you can stop them, which is obviously very helpful. Concussions are always my favourite things to use in Call of Duty. From Call of Duty 4, concussions and stun grenades, they're always really, really strong and you can just stop people. You can uh, they, they won't see their radar, you can't move very fast, you can't turn very fast. And it's all very, very helpful. So, um... Kill streaks. I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use UAV and uh, sentry gun and stealth chopper. The UAV, of course, lets uh, you know where they are, and uh, you can know if you shouldn't be walking down a state. Like if you see like four red dots around an area, you should know to avoid that place, and you should maybe pick a more tactical route. You should maybe go around them and try and pick them off slowly. And uh, sentry gun is really good because you can put that down an alleyway or put that down a flank, and uh, that basically assures that no one is getting past that, and um, that's very very helpful to lock down a route. So then you can go down the other route. So you pretty much know, sentry guns looking this way, I'm looking this way, there's no way for them to go, I've got this whole map locked down, and uh, this is really important, and uh, stealth chopper, that just kind of goes hand in hand with the whole uh, idea of this stealth class, which is really, really good, because uh, you can be killing people, and it can be killing people in the air while you carry on, you don't have to stop and call it in, I mean, you don't have to call it in, you don't have to stop and control it, so you don't have to go roll it around and kill people with it like a chopper gunner almost but um this is very very good because you can uh, you can make sure you're doing your thing on the ground while it does this thing in the air and uh, anyway so i hope you're joining this class i think it's very very strong i've got some very good kds with this and um as I say in all of my episodes of these best classes, the game is just out. It's very brand new. So if there's something that uh, we don't know about, it's because the game is only very, very brand new. As I say, I, I have no doubt there's probably some very secret class, some very like attachment that nobody really knows about. That after a couple weeks or a couple months, everyone's going to say, hey, this is actually really, really strong. And it's going to come out and emerge that this is a really good class. But uh, anyway, as of now, um, all a lot of things in these classes are very, very hard to unlock. So I'm getting 
getting the gameplay for these things in private matches and uh, other things like that, like combat training, so that um, I can show you these because there's no point like showing you, there's no point me talking about something if I can't show you this class is the best. So uh, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoy this video because it took me a very long time to edit and very long time to figure out what is the best. And um, yeah, I think I found one of the best stealth classes. But if you if you think there's an adjustment that you'd um, that you'd prefer, then be sure to leave a comment and tell me what you think in the in the comment section. So uh, yeah, once again, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you've enjoyed it because these are quite hard to make. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh, 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 oh,